What is going on, everyone, and welcome to the stream. We've got a crazy, crazy day planned up. The $10,000 dual tournament, it's happening live. I'm joined here by the legendary, the one and only to That's help right. co-host yeah. it and break it. Okay, all right. <laughs> but yeah, it looks like we're about to hop into a, a, the first game very, very soon here. I'm getting really excited right now. I got to say, I want to see Potato hold this one down, but I mean, Zar seems like he's fa favoring the red here. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. I actually didn't know about that Shield of Vengeance trick there. I wonder if Potato has it locked in on that. Because, yeah, if you use your whole drain life into the shield, uh, that's, that's not a, good. It's a bad situation. Yeah, definitely a bad situation for the Warlock. But Affliction Warlocks did just get buffed recently. We're seeing Affliction Warlocks all over the ladder. It's in 2v2, 3v3, RBGs. They're topping meters, like, far beyond anyone else. Like, doubling damage of every class. But this is a 1v1, right? This is not 2v2. This is not 3v2. We do not have a healer for Potato Lock. So the question is, okay, you can top damage in a group situation, but in 1v1s, how are you gonna fare? How are you gonna survive? Are you, are you just gonna die 100 out of the Warlock? I mean, Warlocks have the, the port, the gate, big consistent pressure, the big drain life like we've been chatting about. And yeah. with that drain life, you know, you could, you could top yourself back off, but if you get in a situation where you don't get, you know, maybe you could kick down your drain life, you don't have that port available, Red's gonna take them out. But here we have Demonic Gateway being placed and game number one's underway. Yeah, Potato Lock actually opting to spec into Death Bowl from what I'm seeing. That's definitely a bold play, but nice hodge here from Rhett's effects onto Potato here. Opting to trade out that Trinket into the Death Coil. Full dots up from Potato here using all of his offensive cooldowns, but Rhett's effects just running him down with that Divine uh, Vengeance there. Got the horse, chasing him down. Potato using that Death Pack at a good time here, holding that Death or that uh, Unending Resolve here. Does get a huge Drain Life off Ooh! Kevin there. Oh my goodness! Oh my! No! 1% bubble! Red Specs definitely about to hit the pillar hard here and just play this one slow here. That was a huge push for Potato. That was so much value. Yeah. I think Red Specs has got to be feeling nervous after that, having now no wings or bubble or uh, the divine. I keep forgetting the shield name. It's <laughs> Shield of Vengeance. It's Shield of Vengeance. It's just a tough spell. But Red Specs actually pushing out here. Does have another Hodge come back up here. Potato once again getting out of that. Often to get that fear. Does get the fear before the pillar. Trying to fully dot it up. Shout out Fury almost there. Red Specs realizing the danger that he is in, kiting back to the pillar. Ooh, Fleshcraft on the coil there, denying Beautiful. that for Potato. Still just playing it slow. I mean, this is a tough situation, guys. It's life or death. It's do or die. You got one chance, one duel, only $10,000 on the line. We're going to see people play as smart and defensively as they can in order to secure those wins. And yeah. right now, it looks like Potato is trying to push in here, maybe moving the port to this pillar here. Mm, aggressive. Looking for maybe a re-gateway to, you know, Try to lock down Red Specs. Red Specs is dealing with minimal mana here. Another Hodge here, trying to get some pressure. I feel like, oh, oh, maybe the lock is Imp. Every Hodge is getting dispelled. Oh, that's, that's so what's smart. Going on. Wait, oh I, my, that's he doesn't crazy. have a kick, but he has the dispel on every yeah. hammer of justice, so it's difficult for Red Specs to actually play aggressive. If I was Red Specs, I would just be turtling for bubble, but dampening. <laughs> <laughs> Damp of course, the classics are. What do you mean? What do bubble. you mean? I'm turtling for bubble every yeah, time. Okay. Dampening though is at 12 percent, right? So the dampening starts immediately it's when the gates open. Quick. Yeah. yeah so two minutes in, we're dampening at 12 percent. So this this pally's not gonna be able to top himself, and these dots hurt. There's a full hammer justice potato lock playing relentless, and it's instantly oh imp dispelled. Goodness. There's coil reds of X just running to the pillar. Potato lock is looking player. good. I mean, peak of warlock me have a thing or two to learn from potato. What are you talking about? This is an offense a push here from Tato exactly as I would do on my Warlock here, using the Dark Flare, using the Dark Soul, every button. Red Specs just cannot manage to top with the, the, the dampening ramping up. The Agony is just so much damage. And Potato just playing really, really smart, keeping that distance, knowing that dampening is on his side in order to win. Another Hodge goes out. Does he get the cover? Does get the cover on the, the slope Ooh. of the Pally. Offs to trade out that Dark Pact here. Red Specs actually crawling back burst. into this matchup after Seemingly a very tough start. I feel like Look at those drain lives though. Yeah, off the Kevin. And he locks out. Too. We gotta get a cancel or a Kevin macro. Oh, changes to the CS. The pet. Fell Hunter to play a bit more aggressive. Ooh. And yeah, Potato Lock sitting the full hammer of justice, popping the shield. Potato Lock though defensively looks great. Still has the wall, the port. If you need to, could play back and gate. I mean the war ooh, ooh hard swapping coming. back okay. to the imp on the hard cast, deciding ten thousand dollars is on the line. I'm not gonna play two aggro. We'll just wait for dampening. That'll help us out. Reds of X though, fifty seconds left on the bubble, and you know you gotta give you gotta you gotta give it up to the players. You're playing nice and defensive, waiting for the cooldowns. Coil coming out. Potato Lock trying to get the full line of dots onto Reds of X. Hammer of justice. Where's the imp dispel? Maybe. He was covered. Ooh. I'm not sure. Huge. Ooh. Red Valley damage. Potato Lock dipping the 30% oh. like 20. There's the wall. That's the big defensive cooldown from the Affliction Warlock, and that's pretty much it. 
Drain life oh, though. Got the drain. Lands behind the pillar. Red's effects dust in a bubble it. for 20 seconds. Oh my goodness. This is a scary situation for Red's effects. Pit Hater got a huge drain life with the soul rot there and has a dark oil. Shadow Fury does land Woo! into another drain. Red's effects just trying to kite it out, Bubbling realizing 10. the danger. He needs to live 10 seconds. Another Hodge doesn't get the cover. Imp dispel instantly. So much pressure onto the Red. No! Oh my gosh, he had all bubble over. in eight seconds. Oh, I mean, that's a long time. Eight seconds, that's a long uh, it's time. Eight, eight seconds is not that long no, of a time. That's a, I mean, that felt like an eternity, I bet, for Rhett's effects, for sure. I mean, huh. Yeah, geez. I think eight seconds is less than 10 seconds. I don't, I'm not 100% sure, but no, that's a we can double check the math on that. Yeah, we'll have to get a count on that for sure. Yeah, definitely. Maybe wow. someone could help us on that. Yeah, yeah, get some math on that. Okay. Looks like the talents look fairly normal here, and Naj does go for the approach, trying to trying to get in there a little quickly. Yeah, the regular fell hunter out, or the, not the fell hunter, the fell lord. Oh, does go for the sap pet into the cheap shot here. That's gonna break, right, Pico? Oh no, because of dark pact is not. Oh okay, yeah, okay. unless Naj knows something. It's all I fake don't. damage. It's, it's all fake it's damage. It's fake damage. Okay, coil into the casting circle there. <laughs> Immediately getting those hand of Gul'dans out. Naj opting to trade out the blades there just for a dark pact. I mean. That's interesting. Looks like Naj is already back in stealth, though, so I'm liking what I'm seeing here. Naj knows what's up. He's going to wait out that dark pact, I'd assume. There's another Saps sap on the again. pet. Oh, he's immediately it's on not, him It's not breaking. Full King oh, of the axe toss as well. Huge Woo! play from Naj. Forging the trinket. DFA is an attempt to immune something. Cloaks offensively. Naj going all in oh, blinds my. and low. 30% blind low. What happens next? What would the Rose Master do here? Cam has no defense. It's no trick in the wall. Sitting the full blind. Cam's got to figure out something defensively. Porting around the pillar. Nosh insta steps before he can get line of sight. There's the gate across the map. Drain line can step kick from Nosh. Nosh might close this out fast. He's a turtle, but full kidney shot. Cam, no trinket available. Nosh connecting damage with the blades again. Kidney shot in the cheap shot. One more cheap, and it's over. Oh my. Nosh taking out Cam instantly. Maybe Nosh knows something right, that, that, was, that Rose Master and Pika yeah, were like. That was a kind of a clinic right there. That was nice by Nosh. I wasn't expecting that right there. Wow. That, that was nice. That was nice. Huh. Did you learn anything there? Take a note nice. from Nosh. Like, so it seems like rogues, let me think, they have a lot of damage. They have a lot of stuns. They have a lot of mobility, a lot uh -huh. of resets. Is this class okay? Or? I mean, uh, it's hard to say if rogues are that strong. I think Nosh has just been a veteran in the game for a long okay. time. He's one of the best to do it. So, and that's why we saw what we saw. And, um, I, I was surprised actually to see the lock go down that quickly. I feel like huh. usually that class is fairly tanky versus rogues, but I guess when you evasion the axe toss, and, yeah, could uh, be you, tanky from your end, but when Naj oh. is behind the wheel, yeah, I guess it's a little different. You know, yeah. I mean, he did get the blind low. I mean, it's hard for the lock to getting self healing back and didn't really even have a chance mm. to get pressure in that duel. And, man, ten thousand dollars on the line. Naj is closing people out within sixty seconds. I mean, that's that's ridiculous. Like, yeah, so. sub rogues looking fire. I actually thought that would for sure go to like like what you were saying, go to dampening, mm -hmm. sap the lock, kill the pet, go for a bunch of resets. And Naj yeah. is like, I have a different yeah, strategy. We're not doing we're that. We're going straight <laughs> for the throat. We're going for the kill, and uh, it worked out for him. We're one minute into this game. I have no cauterize, no block. I got to yeah. release turtle for five minutes, which a mage can do. But next time, technique. Technique mounts up, gets the fear, does a uh, full line of dots instantly. Oh. Silence. This is what oh, we're talking no. about. Psychic horror. Ferrix is stuck here. There's a silence over it. Ferrix, Shadow of Death's oh. going to come in. Huge there's, shield. Yeah, there's a barrier, a little purge or two. There's the full polymorph. Ferrix has got to reset in this game. I, I cannot believe one minute in. Oh my god. He, he might die to the dots randomly right now. No. Oh my goodness. No. Oh, eat. does he eat? Oh. Yeah, dude, Ferrix. Oh my goodness. Jesus. That is crazy. Technique just immediately there. Oh, oh. my goodness. Shadow or death to close it out. I mean, I'm telling you, all of our predictions are wrong so far. <laughs> we don't know anything. Yeah. We don't know anything. Wow, well, you don't know crazy. anything for sure. I know. Yeah, I agree with you. Do you think a mage having a stun would have changed the matchup at all? Um, yeah, the mage would probably just win the dual tournament if they had a stun. I mean, it's already the most broken class in the game. Interesting. So that was Mages crazy. are 0 and 1 so Shadow far. Priest was able to take it down. Uh huh. Huh. Next matchup is Wiz K versus Wealthy Man. I got to say, no bias. I would like to see Wiz K win because I'm a Shadow Priest. You know, we just don't see, we, we just saw, sh well, okay, there's definitely bias. I want to see the WizK do well here. You better lock <laughs> it in and focus up. But also, Wealthy Man, Legend of the WoW scene, been around for so, so long. Actually, a main mage choosing to reroll Rogue for this dual turn. Yeah, what do you have rogues to have a stun, so. Oh, Makes is that? Sense. You think yeah. that's probably the main reason why he opted to not play his main class? Or? Yeah, it must have been. So we have we have Shadow Priest versus Outlaw Rogue. Shadow Priest are undefeated so far wow. in the tournament, which that is, is insane. But, I mean, if we're going to do a wager on this. You have five gifted subs? Five gifted subs wager? Yeah, I I'm saying five gifted on Wealthy Man. You're yeah. betting against me, too. I yeah, mean, five gifted on Wealthy Man, uh, at least. Uh, this Wiz, Wiz lost me BlizzCon. He's lost yeah. me. Oh, no! I mean, like, uh, this guy hasn't won me many pets. Right. I mean, no confidence, then. No confidence. I'll, I'll take you up on the five gifted. Five I think gifted. Wiz has got it. Yeah. Yeah. 
All right. That's a deal. Five gifted yeah. Right there. All, All right. right. All right. There we go. Wiz got this in the bag. He better win. <laughs> he better win, Wiz, if you're out there, okay? Wherever you are. Yeah, we got, we got big money on the line yeah, here. Yeah, we do. <laughs> oh, we'll this is oh, the matchup man. we've been waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, Outlaw Rogue versus Shadow Priest. The Wiz K versus the Wealthy Man. I mean, we got five gifted sub bet between me and the Czar on the line. Yeah. Or it's going to be dinner tonight or both when I win. <laughs> I'll see how I'm feeling. But, I mean, uh, a tough matchup coming up here. We see – so it looks like everyone starts with Siphon in the starting gates. But I don't know if Wiz is – opting to play that relentless trinket and hmm i don't know if we got i think i believe wiz is human on that priest uh, shadow oregon i think is that name i think it's dragon it's a yeah. d it's got to be shadow dragon yeah, shadow oregon i'm pretty sure and then no, yeah jack no, sparrow pretty cool okay. name for outlaw so that's a little yeah, like, it's role from, play it's from going a movie on. i'm pretty sure mm, i'm not sure i think it's just because of outlaw or something yeah you could google thing. it maybe yeah, I'll have to look at that. Um, yeah, can okay. search it up. But gates are opening here in about 10 seconds. Ooh. Jack Sparrow versus the Shadow Dragon, or the, the Oregon. Yeah, Shadow Oregon, yeah. As, as oh, Peekaboo's man. saying, we got five gifts at subs on the line, but in the tournament, we have $10,000 on the line. You don't want to go down as it's single elimination. If you die, you're done. No lower bracket, no nothing. Best of ones here today. Sap lands onto Shadow Dragon. Jack Sparrow taking it slow, thinking how he wants to start this opener. It's a big opener oh, with an ambush. Ambush opener, okay. ambush opener into fear? Ooh, kind of a tough start here for Wealthy Man. Siphons <laughs> out. Shadow Dragon, ooh, immediately getting kidnapped, opting to trick it, going full aggressive oh, here. No. PI has a new stun. Cloak traded out here. Uh, this is kind of tough. I mean, Shadow Dragon's still full HP right now. Can he stop the restealth? Is it possible that Shadow Fiend and Kevin chasing down Jack Sparrow, trying to deny that Kevin? Shadow Mages does get the restealth, though. Full sap reset. I mean, oh man. Oh, opens again. Whoa, whoa. killing the mage coming out of stealth here. Okay, oh, that was okay. actually really smart. Right, sap that was killed big. the pet, then wow. kidney shot. That was actually perfectly damaged. That was crazy. Okay, still yeah. slowly whittling away down Shadow Dragon, trying to fake that kick. Might have got it. Man, wealthy man, just so hard to juke on the rogue here. I mean, so much damage on the Shadow Dragon still trying to get those dots up, trying to get some counter pressure here, trading out that fade. Does fake the kick. Almost got the redot. So good line of sight there by Jack Sparrow, realizing what's going on. Fleshcraft, full value when the no kicks are up. Shout out to the add-ons for that one, for sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, Wealthy Man, trying to get that reset here. Looking to get a sap reopener. I'm not sure about the ambush start. I mean, really just wanting that kick. Yeah, he's yeah. getting feared on the ambush. I don't know about it. Shadow Dragon is very aware, trying to just set up those kidney shots, I guess. Jack Sparrow has Cloak of Shadows up in another minute. So, I mean, that's the big defensive cooldown we want to keep an eye out. Jack Sparrow doesn't have that Cloak. He's vulnerable to death. But with that Cloak, he can, you know, play a little bit more aggressive. Full Kidney Shot lands on the Shadow Dragon. Still with that Dispersion available. And we might need a bit more damp silence, silence coming out on Jack Sparrow. Yeah. Can't say a word. Exactly. He's silenced. There's the Gouge coming out. Shadow Men's. Let's see if Jack Sparrow does land that kick. Looks like he chukes the kick. Dispersion, oh, though. Oh, oh, press oh, oh, the Dispersion. Oh. There we go. We do press the big defensive cooldown from Shadow Priest. Fade's still available, but Jack Sparrow looking pretty nice with Cloak of Shadows with 25 seconds left. Has the Vanish under control. No Fade, no Disperse. My guy Jack is looking nice. Man, Wiz, almost, or Shadow Dragon almost tried to fade that blind there, tracking that as well. Mm. Man, still just so tough. The blind resets. I mean, Shadow Dragon having no Fade, no Disperse, and no Vampiric Embrace. I'm not really sure how... Shadow Dragon can recover. Oh, does trade out that stun, though. Realizes the cloak is coming up very, very soon. Trying to get those heals off. Got the fear, forcing the trinket there. Might have got a kick out of the way. Oh, full kidney shot. No defensive cooldowns here. This is a scary position to be in if you are the Shadow Priest right now. Jack Sparrow doing so much damage with that kidney oh. shot here. I mean, so sketchy here. Forcing the cloak. I mean, Vampiric embraces up. Oh, we oh, need something so low. With oh, it's, oh, my. So his life hits zero and he dies, and that's got to be five oh. gifted subs. Oh, my. Shadow wow. Dragon going down round one to the Outlaw Rogue. This is really exciting here. Game starts in 10, 9, 8. You guys can't count. 7, 6. Yeah, you're, you're delayed on the counter. Can you count? I mean, oh, yeah, the three, the I'm out on my yeah, screen. You're, you're on my screen, delayed. it's looking real clear. <laughs> I can see the numbers you're perfectly. A, a second behind, I don't know my glasses, though. Yeah, but I can tell. Okay. Gates opened. And here we have the Windwalker really trying to burst in that leg sweep, right? Trying to get the Death Knight in the leg sweep. Wants to trade out that Icebound Fortitude and the Trinket. But with no more Trinkets, that's when Whoopi can play super aggressive. Starting on that Swift Spectral Tiger. Nice and defensive. Looks like Whoopi yeah. might try to dampen, Ooh, which is interesting. A-bomb two choice from the DK. Interesting there. Okay, mm -hmm. here we go. Darkson pressing every single button onto the Windwalker here. Sketchy situation using all those DR stuns. Trading out that Touch of Karma and that Dampen Harm. Trying to counter pressure here. A lot of nice full disarm opted for the trinket into the death pack. Lot, oh my goodness! Whoopi oh. in so much trouble here. Needs to kite away. Needs to get away and start healing right now. That was a oh. great. Oh, <laughs> what HP! 
<laughs> move by spam i like i said that a bomb is gone the pressure it has reduced but can we stay alive great port great use of the pillars there dark sim having virtually no defensive cooldowns left now having to get that trinket to spam the death strikes out good play by the monk picking that talent there knowing that death strike is one of the biggest ways the dk can live and uh, still having that Zwen available, I mean, the Windwalker has a lot of burst here. It does have that Storm, Earth, and Fire. Fist Fairy, great kiting by Darkson, Ooh. getting away from the Fist there. Mm -hmm. And Darth, that's why I can off those pets here. But charge right in there, stuck in that Asphyxiate Darth Vader grip here. But lots of damage still from the Windwalker onto Darkson. Realizing the trouble here, Darkson trying to trade as effectively as possible, having to kite up that Disarm, stacking up that Runic Power to secure some sort of healing. Yeah, if I was the Windwalker, I'd be pretty happy right now. You got Leg Sweep coming up in five seconds. There's no Icebound Fortitude. There's no Trinket. Whoopi's just like, you know what? Let's turtle a couple seconds. We'll run in. We'll pop the Paralyze. And then we'll go for the Leg Sweep. Oh, Look at this. Yeah. Calling it perfectly. <laughs> calling it out perfectly. There's the Leg Sweep. No ways to break this for the Death Knight. Tons of damage coming in with the Zuan. The Death Knight get in so oh. low. Oh, man. It's like, I've played this game before. It's you like, we knew exactly what was going to happen before it happened. Yeah, Vanguard's really trying to opt to kill him with the blinding light. Oh, Combust has been used here by Aegis. Vanguard's in a lot of trouble here. He needs the line of sight. He's kiting out. He realizes how much damage he's taking here. Trying to top off, trying to play safe. I, I feel like he, I feel like waiting out the Combust here is a good play for Vanguard. It seems like his strategy of trying to use the Hammer of Justice on the Mage, forcing the Blink, and then catching him in that blinding light without Trinket to min-max damage, because Holy Damage does not break the blinding light. Oh, is that's, that right? Yeah, so that's okay. the most uptime he can get is during the blind, right? So he's got to position properly. He's got okay. to space it out. Aegis doing everything he can to get aggressive here. I mean, 45% dampening. Mm. Things are getting tight. This is scary. Tight. I mean, Bubbles Vanguard back. has the bubble. Yeah. There's that Hodge there, not blinking instantly. Ooh. Ooh, deep. Does he, the pillar. Oh, he can't trigger this. DB yep. Sheep again. Holly lands. Aegis blinked into the pillar there, but it worked out for him because he gets the DB Sheep immediately. No trinket. Vanguard oh. has the bubble in his oh, back pocket. Ring missed. Uh, ring missed. Oh, it happens. It yeah, happens. Yeah, Zar ring. Zar ring right Kika there. Kika Pai knows about yeah, those classic rings. Classic Zar move there. Yeah, they, you know, they tend yeah. to happen where you, you aim the ring. You know, a little RNG on the Dragon's yeah. Breath doesn't go if, your if way. If the and circle's it, on the guy, it should hit every time. So Yeah, but but Dragon's Breath, you know, yeah, the, 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 the kiting. Yeah, the circle has yeah. to be on the if guy. If you play Mage for any more than like one day, you'd probably understand huh. that it okay. comes down to mainly RNG. For and there's nothing you can really do about it. Let's see if this one lands. Yeah, let's see. Ring of Fire, actually. Yeah, yeah, you can't just keep doing doing Ring of Frost forever. Okay. Another one of those things that oh. comes with experience, but oh. but here we are. 50% dampening. Vanguard's getting real low. Shit. Has Bubble Shield of Vengeance. That Blinding Light play. No Trinket. Blocks oh. it. Offensive kick. Oh, oh my no. god! Oh, oh, no. Offensive block from Aegis. Beautiful. Five head play coming oh, in from Aegis. Six head even. Six Crazy. head. Crazy. Vanguard's wow. had Bubble and Shield of Vengeance. Decides to oh, go for the... so tough. $10,000 attorney. That's how you go out? You go out with the offensive, offensive ice block. block kick? You've been telling people you're taller than me like this whole time yeah i got the picture i can pull it up I yeah, like, we don't need I a got, picture we can I just stand like, up right oh, now okay what do you think yeah let's just stand up then yeah wait wait yeah no i, mean, I think the studio is slanted or something oh yeah think, it's a slant i think now. there's something i'm, I'm kind of leaning yeah. a little bit yeah, yeah now no. the chat knows who to trust are we I, lagging them because yeah. of that are we getting a, a bad signal no uh, no i think the signal is just fine no I, yeah. no the huh. camera is also closer to your side as well it, i think no, that's i the think problem. it's right in the center oh. we're actually on this camera right in the center yeah, straight no, down the middle it's something with huh. huh yeah i don't know if i'm gonna trust those call outs and yeah. more live and uh, photos yeah. uh, let's, sometimes listen, are photoshopped. Let's, photo let's just sit but, back down. Yeah, let's just sit down. Anyway, moving Jesus. on to, to the next yeah, I don't know game how here. How that's possible, but okay. Yeah. Huh. We got Windwalker versus Inhand Shaman. Oh my goodness, Ethereal Form pick too from Inhands. That's oh. that's a bold play. Do you want to remind the the chat what what Ethereal Form does? Yeah, Ethereal Form is definitely an ability that Inhand Shamans can select, especially if they fight Windwalkers. It's one of those spells that you just sometimes you need to have it, and sometimes you don't. And I think it's uh, I think it's like a twenty second window where you can't be hit by physical damage and monks are mainly physical damage so it's huh. basically it so mathematically that's got to be good you can't die yeah it yeah it's impossible yeah so but, i mean gates are opening in a couple seconds ad so adaptation pick two from the shaman that's, that's smart that's min max every every leg sweep right yep. i mean how are you supposed to leg sweep with, with adaptation with wait leg, that's actually five yeah. that's actually so smart let's see here do you even leg sweep i mean it, oh he, baits the, he baited it oh no leg sweep is a 50 second cooldown he's oh, short no. sweep he, so, he outplayed the outplay outplayed. that's insane that's Crazy. The meta that just happened right yep, now. That's why this is uh, yeah, my up. brain is blowing up right now. So there's a 10 <laughs> second window for the monk to get the kill, and he's gonna have no trinket every time. Yeah, he's playing the leg sweep talent. Who would have thought? Oh okay. my gosh! So you bait the ad app yeah. with the short 10 second window here to kill. God. The thing is, Big Dam's gonna know that these 10 seconds I got a pre ethereal, right? 
or you get the pre, you get the in cap into the leg sleep, and then you can't pre ethereal. But uh, yeah, I mean, he could just ethereal. But the ethereal assumes. for that full ten seconds, and then you have add up again. Oh, oh! Wait, that's meta it's, to the meta. It's to a the meta, meta to the meta. To it Wait, you again? Can just use the immunity. Oh yet. my! And then you just that's keep rotating. Insane. So you can't be stunned. Ever. So we right, have to die on, out of stun. On. This is it. Three, two, one. Ethereal. Oh my! Oh my! I thought of the strategy for it. No way! No one, no one could have thought of that. Are you gonna wow. that? I gotta say that was a good call by the Czar there. Yeah. That was genius. And now is... you can't stun, and now if you do stun, oh, it's immune. Uh, oh, oh wait. wait, you can get stunned during Ethereal. Oh, you can still die yeah. during Ethereal, but not that, <laughs> yeah. not that hard. Okay, not I mean, that look, bad. Okay, that Ethereal's was over. That was smart. And now he's oh he saves the oh oh whoa, 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 whoa. oh my Wh Windwalker. Oh, all of this meta gaming. That was For the what? coolest matchup I've ever seen, though. Like, the fact that there was, like, a meta game of, like, oh, I'll just play Adam. You can't stun me. It's like, oh, the joke's on you. I got a short stun. Like, joke's I... on you. I'm playing Ethereal. Joke's on you. I'm a monk. I don't even care. That was... Whew. MVQ, though, pushing in, trying to get aggressive. Has the meta. Is he going to use it? Tries to connect here on his Super T. Super T's getting stunned. He has Trinket and skin. Decides to hold the skin. Use the Trinket. Super T's will be fine for now. Fleshcraft being channeled. Cyclone, but beautiful. Line of sight from MVQ. Positioning perfectly to avoid those Cyclones from going off. Yeah, Super D's trading out that two minute cooldown that heals you. It's similar to the Hunter Exhilaration, but Druids have it too. It's, you know what that spell is? Uh, yeah, it's Renewal. That's exactly right. Yeah, they did use that Renewal, traded that out there. Looking to go bear form here. A lot of damage here. Bashing, is this a clone reset potentially? Super D's actually opting to get aggressive here. I mean, this is a really a scary play here. Uh -oh. oh, using that Celestial Alignment here, uh, trying to trade blows, but Super D's is so low. Uh-oh, uh big in cap. Can MDQ close it out here? Is he going to? He's sitting so far back. I mean, what is... He's leaping in with meta here, trying to immune any CC that he can. He has Blur Offensive, trying to avoid that that incapitating roar from the druid gets out of the root beam instantly i think the root might have been immune there uh super d's kiting it out sprinting for his life stunned once again middle of the map no trinket available here mdq so much pressure does get the roars in enough uh, though super d's need something frenzied regen taking away slowly wow good kites there on the pillar there by super t's good choice going the way he did mdq just once again flying around the map he might fly through the pillar at this rate i can't actually tell uh but super d's actually getting a re-stealth off got knocked out okay Still in bear form. Very scary situation for Super T's here. MVQ just all over him right now. Slowly building back those Regos here. Uh, that renewal is coming back up very, very soon for Super T's here. But he has no Celestial alignment. It seems so hard to get aggressive. But yep. dampening almost 30% here. Another stun onto Super T's here. How can he recover? This is sketchy. Into the uh, fell eruption. There's still so much damage. Oh! Uh, evasions the bash there with the with the blur. That is very, very bad for Super T's here. He does have that frenzied regen up. Kiting it out. Doing whatever he can. But he has no self-healing left. Can he fake the kick to get the clone? In cap roar. Trinket kick. Oh, Trinket in cap from MVQ here. I mean, this is looking bad for Super T's. Yeah, I mean, if you're 10% with no defensive cooldowns, MVQ and Hopper Soup right on top of Super Tease. Doesn't look like there's much you can do, but bears are pretty tanky. I mean, jeez, just going okay. back up to full HP almost. But MVQ has offensive cooldowns coming up. Connects on a Super Tease. Super Tease, no defensive options. Getting low, trying to play, you know, like Sevark did and use his offensive Ooh. cooldowns to push him back, but it's not working. Super Tease goes oh. down. MVQ take it out. Moonkin, the only Moonkin? Maybe potentially the only Moonkin I, from I, the tournament. I think so. Turtle here. Oh, Wait, that trap turtle whiff. was really that, good then. That eh? aspect of the or the, the frost trap there a little short on on the extension there, but I mean, huh, we're making short jokes now. Still getting the short end of the stick here as the hunter kites away. <laughs> and so okay. getting low, no defensive cooldowns. Big Mex knows if he can just survive, his pet's gonna finish the job. Door of Shadows across the map. You don't even have to play this one out. Hansel getting chewed down slowly but sure early from the survival under dots many bandage back to full i mean hunters don't have that many heals we got many bandage big max playing across the map hansel's freaking out right now trying to figure out what to do trying to kill a pet big max pulls his pet back heals it back up push the pet back in hansel is like no defensives no block there no cauterize hunter mine, is in mine control field, minefield of traps around hansel i don't know if he remembers that these traps are here but there's a bear trap a frost trap and a, a spike ball he might just randomly run into one of these but he's going for the invis but the hunter's mark <laughs> is there by big max trying to deny this Ooh. eating as fast as possible he's He's taking Eat? a sip right now. I mean, he's yeah, on. Yeah, just probably stop yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> probably, probably stop that. Yeah, I mean, good. good. Yeah, Big Mac's getting aggressive again. Hansel. Oh, all the traps expired. That was pretty good timing. So he's kind of shifting power and get that com that oh, that block back. I mean, he has the bus, but I mean, what does he root the pet and somehow get damage on the hunter? Oh, he's trying. Oh, denies it. Does have that silence poise on him. Can't alter back yet in the silence. Could be sketchy. Could just get crit and die. But 
Chooses oh. to alter back here in the middle of the map. Scary situation. Needs to land the nice sheep here. Nice feign death, denying that sheep. Oh, oh my goodness. Hansel caught into a stun. Blinks out of it, getting back to the pillar. Oh. Can't he do anything? Seed is procced. Can you kill the seed, Pika? Can you kill the seed? I don't know. Hunters. I've seen seeds come back. Oh, yeah. no, not today. Not today. Hunters always kill seeds. That's... They always at hunters? Yeah, I thought that class yeah. is they do so much damage to the seed. Yeah. What you can actually do is make a macro to target the seed, hit the macro when the seed pops up, target it instantly and start doing DPS. Uh, but I'll send you the macro on Discord didn't know later. They made noob friendly macros like that. I can <coughs> yeah, always I'll just send you the visually. macro. Yeah, no, it's all good. Okay. Yeah. Just, um, okay. Fain deaths the dots off. Every time he has Fain death up, that's when he pushes in. If Maldiva gets dots, that's okay. I'll Fain death off and then play defensive again until I have another Fain death. All right, just playing around the Fain deaths. But as I say that, Nick the Hunt is taking slow residual damage. Death Quail coming out. Trinket to follow from Nick. Maldiva trying to push aggressive here. Nick the Hunt on the run has the Bestial Wrath trying to give Maldiva a little scared here. Maldiva pushes in with aggressively with the port. Nick the Hunt, no defensive cooldowns. You can use the turtle, but you'll die through. Let's see if Maldiva can finish it out here in a second. Nick the Hunt at 5%, but the dots are going to keep ticking. Tortoise is not going to save you. Maldiva taking out Nick. So far, both teammates are very... Both people are very scary to engage here, and I would be too. There's a lot on the line. $10,000 dual tournament. You get one yeah. chance at it. If you lose, you are eliminated, and everyone knows that you're the loser. So yeah. no one is trying to take any lo losses right now. I mean, if I mean? you died without, say, I don't know, Vanish or Cloak of Shadows, yeah, or without no pressing block, evasion, right? or, or no block, right? I mean, you have defensives on... Yeah. yeah, if you just don't yeah. use them, and you everyone's press cheering them. you on, and you yeah, just let and everybody just down, and then let they just find slip. out you're bad, right? Yeah. Right? That could yeah, be crazy. I think it's like a song. Like, you have one chance. You don't want to lose it you know i think it's uh yeah. yes I, I don't anyway know, regardless yeah we're, we're going in here we have the fist of fury connecting ven Ruki doing a lot of damage cj down to 50 percent life plenty of defensive cooldowns to work with disarm landing as well ven Ruki knows if Ooh. you disarm you can't heal big oh my Ooh, gosh touch death absorb baby Oh my goodness, so many cooldowns that he can't trinket disarm because he's playing Resolve. Then uh, Theory crafted that must have in the last two minutes here. Must have. Resolve down. Still CJ trying to run in, trying to get aggressive here. So low though, Ben Pookie oh. all over him. Is it enough damage? Can't he get the touch? Ben still has that touch karma to trade out here. CJ Fist Fury can't uh, death strike. This has to be uh, over. Oh, that's it. Ben oh Ruki closing it out. Wow.